Hey guys, Doug B here, your average axe wielding hat. Hey, you may have seen the announcement earlier today for firmware 20.05 beta that came out for the Axe FX3. Well, I installed it and the new Axe edit that went along with it. And I figured, you know, I will make a little preset and make a video to show it to you guys. So let's listen to a little sample of that preset. <laughs> Just in case you missed it, here's the announcement for firmware 20.05 beta that came out earlier today. Now there were a few items that jumped out at me. Added griddle cake drive model based on a Crowther hot cake. Added Brit Studio 20 amp model based on a Marshall SV20H. There it is guys, the 300 amp type. Added Plexi 50 watt 6CA7 jumped amp model. And hey! The 301st amp type too. So I made a quick preset that highlights these three items. It's one of my very basic presets, but it does have four scenes. It uses drive amp cabin reverb blocks. It's pretty lean, only using 28 to 31 percent of the CPU. So let's switch over to Axe Edit. Now let's take a look at this preset. As I said earlier, it has four scenes. Studio 20 with no drive, Studio 20 with drive engaged, 50 watt 6CA7 jump no drive, and 50 watt 6CA7 jump drive engaged. Like I mentioned earlier, besides the in and out blocks, it uses four blocks, the drive, amp, cab, and reverb blocks. Of course, the drive block is using the griddle cake type in channel A and is used in scenes two and four. The amp block is using the Brit Studio 20 in channel A for scenes 1 and 2, and the Plexi 50 watt 6CA7 jump type in channel B for scenes 3 and 4. And once again, the cab is using the Leon Todd V30 Greenback Mix NA. I'll post a link for this cab in the description, but I really think it's time that Fractal make it part of the cab library. The reverb block is using the echo room type in channel A and is used in all four scenes. And like so many quick demos, I'm using the default values for all blocks. I'll demo this preset and I'll list the scene names on screen. <laughs> So there you have it guys, my quick demo on firmware 20.05 beta for the Axe FX3. So far there have been no reports of any bugs for it, so I would imagine it's going to go into production pretty soon. I will let you know as soon as I hear anything. Now this coming Monday will be part two of my interview with Austin Buddy. You do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you on Monday.